Hello and welcome to another CAD Clip Lab. In this uh, lab exercise we're going to show you how to um, change the out-of-the-box Revit um, view callout and section tags to represent a little bit different information. Out of the box, when you, um, I'm in a sheet view here, when you create a section, you know, um, Revit says section two on sheet A3. So if you go to sheet A3, you will see, you know, section one or section two, etc. But of course, we all know that we need to know where this um, reference is back to. So this is the um, rep, um, detail number, but we don't have the sheet number and we don't have the reference number in that. And Revit actually comes with some different bubbles that actually show you that information. So I've got a copy of that on the main floor here. Sheet, if you zoom in here, okay, what we really want is we want to have a call out that or a section that says the detail number the sheet the detail is on and the sheet number that the callout is made on and then that information is then repeated similarly here we could have the detail number the sheet the detail is on and the sheet the detail is referencing from and in this case the detail would be right on that same sheet so we would have something like this okay then when you get to the actual detail we want the detail number Okay, we want the detail sheet number, which is where the this detail is, and then we want a back reference back to the original um, place where the callout or referencing was made. So this is the referencing sheet number, this is the detail sheet number, and this is the detail number on the sheet. And this is more of the configuration that most of us are used to. So um, out of the box Revit doesn't have it set up this way. So we're going to show you here in this lab how exactly to do that. And I'm going to do this by uh, loading in the um, correct family. So we need to load in a view uh, tag, a section tag, and a callout tag. And I can go through and, you know, um, use my component or load or whatever. And the easiest way sometimes is to just go into your Explorer, go to your Imperial Library folder, which comes with the installation. And inside of there, we've got some families. So I can go in here and take here, callout head with sheet reference, with sheet and sheet reference. Okay, this is the normal one that we're using. This is the one that has the uh, extra fields in there. So I'm going to just take this guy and drag it in. Drags it into my Revit view and I'm just going to hit exit on there. Go right back to here. Okay, and then I'm going to go down to that's my callout head. Now I'm going to go down to my section head filled with sheet and sheet reference. Take that guy, drag it into my project. It's going to give me a little error because it's placing. I don't care. Click over there. Go back over to here. And there's another one in here. Uh, view title with sheet and reference sheet, etc. Okay, there's some other options inside of here. But look for the ones that have the with sheet, reference sheet. That Those are the three we want. So we're going to take that guy, drag it in. So I drag it in, I just hit escape, escape. Now those have populated themselves down in here under annotations, okay, call out head there, um, section head that we brought in over here, and then the view title we brought in there. So those are the three families we've loaded into the project. And now we need to plug those families in so our views and sections, etc., start to use that information. So let's go up here to our Manage tab. And under Manage, under Settings, we have a specific thing, uh, button called Callout Tags. That's these little callout tags right here. Okay, the callout tags. So the callout tag is told to use a certain tag. Oh. Revit's asking me to save here. And the callout head is using the family callout head. I'm going to switch that and say use callout head with sheet reference. I've got an extra one I've been playing with there. Okay. Corner radius if you if you go around bends. And that's it. That changes my callout tags. Okay, so now if I go to um, my uh, section sheet over here, you'll notice that my callout tag Okay, is now looking like this. This is that new callout tag that I've just loaded. Okay, um, now let's um, change the view tags. Well, the view tags are a property of the viewport itself. So watch, if I click on this viewport, and I, it's called viewport one. If I go into the 
properties of that I've got some information if I go into edit the type properties it has a title using view title I'm gonna switch that to say view title with sheet reference and view click on here all viewport ones will now have the the um, full referencing okay this slab edge detail is here because the actual detail is right inside of here this callout is one on sheet um, A4 and sheet A3 is this current sheet so this sheet is A3 we go to A4 and there's our detail right there two on sheet A4 referencing from sheet A3 I like these uh, text to be a little bit bigger so I change the font size by opening that family Okay. Now we have the section titles. So if we go back to our floor plans here, we'll see our section um, bubbles are still using the old bubble. Okay. So sections are the same way as with our callouts. We go to manage, we go to settings, and we go down here to section tags. Notice there's also an elevation tag, section tags, and I say, well, my section head is not using this family. It's going to use the um, section head filled with sheet reference. Hit OK and then all of my sections now will use this so section one on A3 A3 is where the section is it's, it's detail one this sheet that I'm on right here is sheet A1 so if I go A to A3 down to A3 and I go to section one there it is okay section one on sheet A3 and the referencing sheet is sheet A1 so I have back referencing I can go back to sheet A1 and I know that detail 1 A3 is where that section is being called okay elevations are actually okay because this is elevation 3 A2 okay so if I go on to my A2 it's using this call out the view tag okay 3 A2 so that means if I go to Where's number three? There it is. Okay, three on A2. It's it's actually back referencing to A1, which is where the elevation is being taken. So that works just fine. Okay, so that's a, a great uh, lab for you on swapping out the view uh, title tags, the callout tags, and the section tags to show back referencing and forward referencing in the bubbles.